Maria. Maria, I think your favorite stat may be the low number of fouls you had. How, what, what, how have you been handling the foul trouble? Because that has had to have been frustrating for you. And, and what, what's working better for you now? Um, I think that was something that I really wanted to focus on this game is <clears throat> um, lessening my fouls. A lot of them are cheapies that um, they're taking me out of the game and um, I, I want to be on the floor. So um, not fouling as much was definitely something I was focused on. And I was happy with my results for today. <laughs> Will? Yeah, obviously last week losing King Green was pretty big for you guys. Um, she's a an important post presence and then Jade McCoy is dealing with a head injury. Um, so when you consider that, I guess, how do you evaluate your rotation at this point in the post? And, you know, especially tonight with Cassie scoring 13 points and, and pretty much all three of you guys, Cassie Saunders and you having pretty good games. Um, we knew when Key got hurt that we all had, all three of us had to step up. Um, it's a big blow to our team, like off the floor and on the court. Um, Kian's a really positive light that we have on our team. So it sucks that we don't have her out there, but we want to be able to step up and um, just adjust and be there for our team and be there for her and play for her. Maria? Maria, after that close game at West Virginia on the road where you guys probably left feeling like you could have had that game, how much of a confidence booster was Indiana when that game got so tight and how nice is it to go into the holiday break here with two wins? Um, we knew when we were going into the Indiana game, we had a lot of confidence. Um, just as a team, we knew that we could go in and we could beat them. And um, so that was good for us. I felt like we played together. We stayed together. We competed. Um, even when the game was really close, everybody stayed together. We were communicating. Um, so that was really good. That was really good for us. And this, this game, we really just wanted to focus on um, the little things like uh, boxing out and not fouling and making our bunnies. Um, I feel like we did a pretty good job of doing that today as well. So I'm glad so we can go out on to break on two wins. Gustavo. Tomorrow, uh, how you evaluate this week's for you and your teammates, you know, there was the game canceled last Sunday and then you guys had to play Indiana, got the win, then there was another postponement and you got a, you, the game today that was uncertain. How do you evaluate this week though? So much uncertainty, but you guys got two wins, one, one against a ranked team and another one at home. Um, Coach Kelly, uh, just during the season has always told us that we need to um, take whatever is thrown at us. Um, this has been a crazy year, a crazy season with COVID and everything like that. Um, so I think now as a team, we're kind of expecting like changes like that to happen last minute. Um, no, it sucks, but we just have to be able to adjust and come whatever, come with whatever is thrown at us. Maria. Tamari, Jordan Horston is looking increasingly comfortable as the season goes on, and, and you, you seem to have a really good connection with her. Just how, how, how important is it at the point guard position right now for the post players to get that comfort level? Um, it's important for us. Uh, she is a pass-first point guard, I feel like, and so she's always looking for us inside. Um, and we love that. She likes to share the ball. She hustles on defense, and she gets steals. So. I love playing with her. All right. Thank you, Tamari. We'll thank be joined by Coach Harper in a moment. Thank you.